Hello, my name is Yetsay, and even though I've discussed this in one of the videos from my adventure series, I wanted to spend a quick couple of minutes talking about my hotkey setup. So the hotkey bar is down here at the bottom, what I'm currently scrolling through for numbers 1 through 9. And first I want to talk about something that I've seen online a lot, and I don't necessarily agree with it. The most perplexing thing to me is down here at number 9. And you can see I actually overshot it with my scroll wheel here. And that's your, uh, your stack of torches. Your torches are your most valuable tool when you're caving or exploring. So you want to have those readily available. So you want them in the numbers one through five slots, depending on how big your fingers are and how much you can stretch and how used you are to uh, reaching for those numbers if you play a lot of first-person shooters or games that require you to do that. The next thing is if you notice that I have to scroll over here to get to my pickaxe, so they're kind of separated here, and it's also something you use a lot, and it's way over here in the number seven slot. Uh, then you have a block or whatever, and uh, the order here down at the bottom is different for different people, but it's all about the grouping. So again, the sword is separate from the torches. I like to have these back to back. When I'm caving, I usually have a, to a torch, or a sword out. Um, whenever I stop moving or when I'm in danger, when I'm out of danger, excuse me, is when I get out my food or my pickaxe. And so I like to keep the sword and the stack of torches together. Uh, and then you have food and blocks and whatever. So let me just demonstrate uh, my setup and what I like to do when I'm playing Minecraft. And this is more or less it right here. You'll notice that I have my pickaxe as number one, and really you don't have to do that, but I just like it at number one because I use it a lot. Whether I'm exploring or caving or building, I'll need a pickaxe. Like I said, I have the stack of torches and the sword here. You can put them in any order, but I like them at two and three here, right next to each other, so that when I'm sprinting like this, moving forward, holding down the W key, my ring finger can reach up and press two, and my index finger can reach up and press three. So even while I'm moving, I can go back and forth like that. Uh, and then I'll usually put a shovel here, or depending on what I'm doing, maybe a, an ax or a hatchet. And the number five slot is kind of a variable, again, depending on what I'm doing. If I'm resource collecting, I'll put a hatchet there, getting a lot of trees and things like that. Um, or I'll keep... Uh, uh, some blocks here. You'll notice I have some cobblestone here if I'm using a lot of that. Um, and then I also try to keep a block that falls, such as sand or gravel. Uh, keep food down here in the number nine slot. And the reason that I do that is because usually when you go for food or when you want to scroll way over here, you want to do it when you're out of danger and when it, it's okay if you go past it a little bit. So if I have my sword out and my torches and I clear the area and then if I go past my food like that, it's okay, I can just go back because there's nothing around. So that's that's the reason that I do, I do that. I also keep a bucket with me here full of water. Uh, it's very helpful if you can put yourself out if you're around fire or lava. You can put out lava to walk over it, turn it into obsidian or, or uh, stone. And then also you can use it as a defense mechanism to push mobs away from you and buy you some time. So that's pretty much the basics of my setup. Again, I, it's just my preference. Feel free to use what you like to do, but I hope you found this helpful. And if you have any comments, please leave a comment and like or subscribe. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching.